so hi guys we'll be doing the ninth program of the devops lab in this session so for the ninth program is to start with your uh, azure students account and then give it a try for that first what we'll be doing is start azure account for students for that first you'll have to go to chrome type azure for students and you will get something like this in this click on the first link and it will take you to this site then click on start free and you will see something like this thing now since many of us have already uh, created our account in the microsoft it will directly take me to the sign in but if you haven't uh, done anything or if you haven't created your account yet it will ask you for account details and verification process and all of that so you can just give it and uh, create your account i i'm sorry i couldn't show you that but yeah this is what we will get now when you uh, go here azure devops so when this is the thing that we will be opening now for ninth program what you will have to do is we will have to search here as azure devops organizations which is already been here so just search for this thing and click on it and you will see something called my azure devops organizations here let me zoom it for you something called my azure devops organizations click on it you will be redirected to a new page so this is what my thing is uh, since i have already created a um, devops uh, organization it is showing me this one if not there is something called that if you are doing for the first time it will show something some pictures here and show us create new organization so what we'll be doing is we'll be first creating a new organization here it will ask for get started with as devops and yeah you don't have to check this box or anything just continue give any organization name you want at, and since we are in india this will be hosted in india so this is the verification key so let us put that in so once you have done that it will be taking you to your azure devops organization once you are all done with your devops organization in azure you will be creating projects see now what we have to do here is this is setting up an organization is still ninth program so it is just creating a new organization and letting it be this is for the ninth program ninth program ends here now let's start our tenth program in this in tenth program we'll be creating build pipelines and building maven and gradle product with azure pipelines and integrating code repositories and running unit test and generating reports so until ninth program was us creating organizations and creating our azure students account so the next tenth one is first what we'll have to do is we'll have to start a project to get started so for the project name i'll be given as proj1 project one anything see now the visibility here is private only people you give access to will be able to view this private but what we don't need this as private we need it as public so what we'll be doing is there is something called organization policies here go to that organization policies and you will see a screen like this uh, let it load uh, yeah so you'll see something like this saying organization settings in which there are organization policies so in this policies there is something called as allow public projects we have and which is currently off we will switch that on so that we will be here so it will ask you for a confirmation thing just say save and now it will be allowing public projects now go back to that thing and see you can see that the public one is uh, unlocked so we will be doing it as public project name as proj1 and we will be creating project
I mean, you actually don't have to create the project here, but yeah, since this is public, we'll just create a project and keep it. We don't have to do this actually. Now, what we will do is we will go to Git Bash. For Git Bash, just search Git Bash in the way, and you will see something like this. What we will be doing is we will be creating a new directory mkdir since it's given maven test1 I will give the same thing maven test1 and then cd maven test1 we will be changing the directory and you can see that we are currently in the maven test1 directory so we will be creating a simple maven project and we will be typing a command which is uh, quite a big command to be honest so I will get to type that now it's mvn let me just zoom this it's mvn Arch type. I don't think you guys can see. Oh, okay, much better. Arch type generate. The group ID can be anything, so I'll just give something else. So this is the whole uh, thing that we will be typing. So this will be the uh, command that we'll be typing. Arch type generate group ID artifact ID arch type artifact ID and interactive mode as false so enter so it will show something as build success after this is done we will be minimizing the git bash and as we know we need to add files from local to github so yeah we will be adding the local files from local to github so first we will go to github and create a repository We will name the uh, name the repository as Maven Test Azure. Keep it as public and create new repository. So the repository is now set up. So after it is done, we will come back to Git Bash. Type Git in it. It will say reinitialize because I was already in it for some time and then git add dot I guess. Git add dot and then git commit minus m Azure pipeline example. Author identity unknown. Okay, so since I hadn't given my identity, it is doing like this. So I'll just config my GitHub's email ID and name. So yeah, after I had uh, given my configuration, it had shown this thing. And then we will be adding Git branch. minus capital M me and then get remote add origin and after this we will be uh, copy pasting the repositories but there we go here this is the path 
once we have added we will be giving the push command git push minus u origin me so after completion of the above things we if we go back to our if we go back to our repository and look give it a quick refresh so yeah I hadn't connected my git now it is uh, connected so after the uh, successful completion of these things my repository will be looking something like this now we will go back to the Azure thing and create another public project well we have this as public project but yeah sure a new project project name as uh, anything to be honest so Maven test Azure one public and then create it's important it be in public now you will see something like this so what you'll have to do is go to pipelines and click on create pipeline you will get something like this so since we have our code in github we will be selecting this it will ask for uh, minimum signing verifications and all of this so you just have to give authorize microsoft and put the password in so once you have given it will be like this saying select a repository so I have only two repositories so I'll just select one of these repositories here there will be something like this for it will ask to download the repositories approve and install your pipeline will be asked for configuration we will be giving as a uh, maven and you will see something like this just uh, save and run set up CI whatever this you guys can you commit directly to the new bands anything you want if everything is clear we will see the tasks be running yeah so this job is queued and this is the task running right now and it's in progress so yeah, uh, this is 10th program guys. I'm sorry for any disturbances that might have caused you or any uh, hiccups here and there. Extremely sorry for that. I hope you like this. Thank you for your patience and time.